The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. Well, with the recent warm weather we're experiencing, conditions are just right for wildfires. Our Josh Peterson spoke with firefighters about what everyone can do to keep safe this season. With almost all of the snow gone, firefighters are preparing for another busy season of wildfires. Even though there's still some moisture left in the ground, warm, dry conditions can dry out the landscape quickly, meaning it could take very little to ignite a large-scale fire. We have pretty typical spring conditions right now, at least over the last couple of years. It's going to be dry. Uh, spring is a little bit early. Snow cover's gone. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we expect a, a fire season much like last year. Large areas like this field filled with tall dead grasses can be a key fuel source for a wildfire. That is why experts say it's best to take precautions and follow the rules. If you do get a burning permit and have a, a burn, you want to burn a pile or something, make sure that the pile is out when you're done. Take a shovel or a rake, stir it around, put water on it, feel it with your hand to make sure it's out cold. Last year, the area saw 96 wildfires, which is considered by the Minnesota DNR to be slightly below average. With warm, dry conditions expected, burning restrictions are planned to be put in place in the near future. If you're going to be doing any burning, just be safe. Make sure you get a permit, you know, before restrictions go on. And then once restrictions go on, be patient and uh, you'll just have to wait for them to go off once it greens up. While some wildfires are caused by Mother Nature, the vast majority are caused by human actions. Most 99% uh, of the fires in Minnesota are caused by human, either on purpose, on accident. Very few are caused by lightning in the state. If you choose to burn after restrictions are put in place and a wildfire ignites, the person who did the burning could be held responsible for all the expenses in putting out the fire. If you're burning outside of permitting uh, or without a permit, you're burning illegal materials, all those types of things, then you know more than likely you'll be held liable for, for the costs. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Burning permits are currently available for the Lakeland viewing area. If you're looking to burn yard waste, you're asked to visit with your local fire department. No permits are required for recreational fire pits. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.